social media influencer to Web 3.0 entrepreneur. So guys, my name is Andres Meneses. I'm a KOL, Key Opinion Leader. I've been seven years in crypto. I have a podcast called The Crypto Gs, uh, number one podcast on Binance Life. And actually, I started as a KOL a year ago, and it, I've been doing quite good. Um, but it's not about me, it's about my very good and smart friend. <laughs> this is good. Um, so yeah, we have uh, Carl, Uni, and Jay, so I'm going to let them to introduce themselves. We'll start with the ladies. Hi, my name is Eunice. They call me Crypto Unicorn. I'm a crypto trader, investor, also Web3 advisor. My name is Carl Runefeld. I am the founder of CryptoJobs.com, a crypto jobs portal. I'm also known on social media for my technical analysis and uh, updates on on Bitcoin and the, the crypto space in general. Hi, hi, I'm Jay Bolaudu. I cover mostly crypto news on YouTube and I also invest in many new crypto startups. Okay guys, so let's go dive in straight away. Look, we, we've seen these guys traveling the world and people think it's easy creating content, but they don't know also all of them that are running business, they have teams, you know, they have a big responsibility. So let's start uh, with Dusty. Dusty, how how you start from being a social media influencer now to have a business based in Web3? So honestly, it's a pretty simple transition for me at least because my entire social media persona is based on, on crypto stuff. So from that perspective, it's a, it's a logical rollout. So there's no... Like my, my content is about crypto, and so you're almost automatically an entrepreneur in the field because you're talking about it all the time, you're talking to the spearheads, like for example, even Carl here, doing a lot of different projects. But also as an influencer, you get many chances to invest in, in the projects and see the founders, talk with them, try to develop more and more and more. Uh, and, and so yeah, it's a logical process, I'd say. Thank you, Dossi. And Carl, you have been doing it for three or four years. Um, but your content is really good, you're really engaged. People like what do you do with the lifestyle as well. Uh, you inspire people at the same time, but at the same time you have been investing in many projects, you have many companies. So tell us how that transition went from creating content and then having a big structure of companies in Web3. Yeah, exactly. So today I, I still make some uh, videos and content for fun, you know, I, I still enjoy it. Uh, but my business, my, my main um, occupation or whatever is being uh, the founder of my, my companies. I have a group, The Moon Group. Uh, we're developing Web3 companies and also investing in, uh, in the crypto companies. And the transition happened uh, because I, I was able to generate a lot of money from my, my uh, own investments and trading and uh, affiliate marketing and... Um, uh, social media and all of that capital I invested into my own businesses and other businesses and after some time I, I was able to generate so much um, so much money from it and having so much fun doing it that I took it really to the next level and and I, I really enjoy building things and people always tell me that you know crypto is the future and I say that also crypto is the future people keep telling that but someone has to build it Someone has to be there every single day, show up and, and uh, hire people, uh, create a vision, execute on the vision, take some risks. So I'm, I'm going to be one of the people who are building the future because also that's the best way to predict the future, to be part of building it. Um, so CryptoJobs.com is, uh, is one of my, uh, my really um, favorite companies that, I, that I'm the founder of because it's uh, you know, being part of the fundamentals of the crypto industry. I help people hire the best talent out there and I, I help the talent to find the, the best reputable companies to work for and, um, and uh, yeah, CryptoJobs.com is basically a, a crypto jobs portal. Thank you, Carl. And now we're going with Uni. Uni, you have a very good um, talent to create content as well in your stories. You are very funny in a good way, you know, but also when you... Uh, post uh, trades on your stories, it, the people get very engaged. You have good results. So tell us how you went from doing it only for you, you know, having good techni technical analysis and having a good trades, 
how you get the people engaged and now how you create this into a business? Look, I started off not expecting myself to be in crypto because I used to be a travel blogger. And all you could see on my Instagram used to be just travel with the hotels. But eventually, the COVID happened. So I literally had a freaking lockdown at home. And I was like, I can't do anything anymore. So I can't go traveling. So I started learning how to trade. And eventually, people were following my crypto signals because it's all free in public for everyone. And I started gaining traction from there. But um, now, from social media influencer, I became an entrepreneur, they call it, um, due to that reason. Okay, thank you so much. And um, people think this is easier because they see only the highs, you know, the lifestyle, being in Monaco, having nice cars, nice watching, nice restaurants, etc., etc. And especially now in the bear market, we have to be a bit, a bit conscious, right? But they don't know the amount of work that we all put in our lives, sacrifices. They don't understand also the, the part of the mindset, you know? Uh, so a question for you, Uni, what is the biggest challenge that you have in that transition? That transition, I was fighting with men in suits at the time. And one of the, I tell you a story. So the story started off with them taking a picture of me in my bikini and put me on the Australian Financial Review front page with a headline saying, would you buy shares from an Instagram model, which I wasn't at the time at all. So I was angry about that. And I find that it was very difficult for me to break into this finance industry because it's very, very male dominated and you're going to be objectified sometimes. But that turned out to be a good scene because I got a lot of traction from there. And my, my Instagram was 10,000 followers at the time and it blew up to like 120,000 because of that. So that was difficult at the time, but in the meantime, I came out of it. So it's never been easier. Thank you, Uni. And what about you, Carl? Because you, you have many uh, followers and a big audience in multiple platforms, but what was the biggest challenge that you have to build the whole community and now being a, as a Web3 entrepreneur? Well, right now I think I have like 4 million followers across social media. 2 million of those are crypto followers and another 2 million are more like um, mainstream uh, followers. And um, I think I grew that just by having fun doing what I love. You know, I love Bitcoin, I love crypto and I just share my thoughts and people uh, follow follow that you know um, it's it's not it's not like I'm always right or always wrong it's more about the fact that I have opinions and just like Eunice has opinions like it's nice to to listen to other people's opinions sometimes about uh, about things you know uh, especially people in countries where no one cares about crypto I remember back five years when I was working in a supermarket in Sweden and you know my friends didn't give at all like they didn't care at all about crypto so I had no one to talk to so I think that's why many people uh, go to Twitter and YouTube and, and um, you know listen to other people's opinions and uh, you know the community feeling in the comment section you go to these live streams you know we're all friends online somehow we're all on the same side whether it's Bitcoin or uh, Cardano XRP like sometimes we fight within crypto but we're all in the same uh, industry we're here to build the future together and uh, it's us against the establishment, you know? So um, I think that's, that's why the community grew so fast uh, for me. And then of course, today I'm just trying to bring value to them, not only content, but also my, my companies, you know? Cryptojobs.com is um, me giving value to the space in a, in a very, very real and fundamental way. Thank you, Carl. Um, Dossi, I have, a, I have a good question for you. So. What do you think the, the big difference between a social media influencer and a Web3 entrepreneur? As I said, it, it, it kind of depends on what type of social media influencer you're talking about. So for me, I started my crypto YouTube channel, or no, my YouTube channel when I was 10, and then I switched to only crypto content in 2016, so when I was 16. And so for me, the entrepreneurship in crypto and, and the social media influencer is kind of the same. But I also have a very, I'd say, very large media company. We have multiple crypto brands, but also many just like 
I guess, niche pages, so regarding food creation or like these crafts, etc., mostly on Instagram. And, and for that, the transition is a lot slower because you need to find your way in. And for that, what we're looking for is to build a specific solution to something close to the niche. So for example, in the food industry, yeah, what exactly can you connect these 15 million food followers with, with Web3 to? It's, it's kind of hard to convince them to, to do something in there or to follow something, etc. cetera. Uh, but for my Dusty VC brand, yeah, it, it's, it's based around crypto, so the transition is, is, is logical. Thank you, Dusty. And Uni, this question probably many people ask because as uh, I was listening to Efe talking about the responsibility that, that we have as uh, content creators. So how do you see the, the role of social media playing the future for Web3? And how do you think influencers can leverage this new technology to advance? So how do you think social media is going to play in the Web3 in the future? You know, And what is the advantage to use social media? Do you think it's going to change? People are going to be more conscious? Do, do you think it's going, to be, uh, it's going to be in any point a decentralized social media? Of course. Um, I think, personally, I don't watch TV, and I know a lot of people probably don't do the same, so that will be eliminated. We are glued to our phones, and eventually from phones, we're going to get into the web tree, the metaverse, the usual jargon. And um, how you can start leveraging this is depends, like what you think connect that is you, that you can connect with the people. It can be making money content, it can be traveling, anything you want, bodybuilding. So start grabbing the same, start growing an audience right now because eventually we are moving towards that way. Okay, thank you. And a final question, uh, let's start with Carl. Carl, somebody is here listening to us and they say that that's like quite hard work, you know, creating content, looking at the market, creating communities, what is that piece of advice that you will give to somebody, like they say to the cow when he started before, when you were in the supermarket, but somebody's here right now getting it started, do you think they're still in an early stage to get it done or they are too late? It's never too late. Whether it's crypto or whether it's someone who's uh, 60 years old, it's never too late to, uh, to start anything. You can always... Um, you can always start and start somewhere. Most people just never start and that's the biggest problem, you know. Most people, they, um, they wait for the right time, they wait for the right connection or they wait until they have money. But these people will never make it because they, they wait for something that will just never happen, you know. There's never the perfect moment or the perfect connection. What you have is you and if you're not successful right now, the only reason for that is you. There's no one else you can blame. You have to make the decision to, to do something. You have to make the decision to become successful. And it's all about the mindset. And it's all about you taking responsibility for your future. And that's what I decided a few years ago that I'm going to do. And, um, and it was the best decision I've done in my whole life. And I stopped listening to other people. I stopped listening to my parents or teachers or, or society. And I just said, you know... I'm going to take some risks. I'm going to believe in myself. I'm going to do something no one really did before. And um, right now it paid off. Like I visualized my whole life. I used the law of attraction. I, I visualized, you know, success and, and happiness and freedom, flying private jets and, uh, you know, having cool things. All of these like things that I dreamed about as a kid. But then I decided, you know what? I'm going to turn these dreams into goals. And then I'm just going to, you know, fucking make it. And um, that mindset took me to where I am today. Thank you, Carl. And Dustin, last question for you as well. Um, when was the moment in your life, you know, that something clicks? There any moment in your life that changed the way that you are now very successful in Web3? Maybe it was a video, maybe it was a connection, maybe it was a platform, a project. What was that moment in your life that everything changed or skyrocketed to have the, the amount of success that you have now? So I'd say for me at start, it was, I was actually doing Instagram and a lot of these theme pages before I got very much into crypto. So for that, it was the moment I hit a million followers on one account and then I noticed, okay, this is some potential. And then when I got a million followers on the second account, I noticed, okay, this has really got some potential and I started to scale it up a lot. But when I got into crypto, it was not a, a subscriber goal or anything. It was just when I started to notice 
I think actually the Dubai landscape, because I've been in the Netherlands for most of my life, in Amsterdam, and it was only when I came here, I met people like Chris, like Carl, etc., that I really noticed, oh, there's a lot of people doing this, and you're actually, as an influencer, making a lot of difference, being able to build a lot of stuff as well, as I was only doing it for pure fun, not thinking to build big companies except for media, but no real substance from a crypto perspective. But it was here when I, when I met all these nice people, beautiful people, and that I really noticed, oh, you can really make a difference by sharing to all these people what, what it can do, but also by combining all these different spearheads, I guess, or these different minds to, to build crazy stuff. So it was not so long ago, actually. Thank you, Dossi. And the very last question for all of you guys. Uh, if you want to pick a platform right now on social media that is the only one that you can use, which one will you choose? You like have to start from <laughs> scratch. I like Instagram. That's for me. Um, it's because I think um, that connects with people around 30 to 40, also the younger generation. Although the even younger generation goes to TikTok, but I like to connect with people around my age, which is mid-tier, so Instagram is perfect for me. Perfect. Thank you. Unicow? I think uh, YouTube is by far the best social media platform. I have, um, I don't know, 15 YouTube channels. The most famous one is uh, called The Moon. Uh, the second most famous one is called um, Carl Brunefeld. So on that channel, I do vlogs. On the other one, it's more crypto analysis. And you build a very strong relationship with your, with your uh, followers on YouTube rather than Twitter or Instagram. So YouTube is the best platform by far. I have a very good connection with, with people on YouTube. I, I think um, it's a great way to communicate with, uh, with people there. Thank you so much. Dusty? I think for communication, I think maybe Twitter is best because you can reply easily to everybody. They can have a better threat than YouTube. But for actually having sustenance, I'd say YouTube is by far the best. For growth, however, TikTok or, or Instagram, anything, then YouTube is better. YouTube is by far worse for growth, I think. Um, but for sustenance, it's best. Thank you, guys. I will say trying to find a new platform that's probably coming up. It's quite difficult and challenging to find something that might be successful, might be not. Maybe you have to gamble, right? Uh, but I will search around if there is something coming up that has good project behind and a new social media. I'm doing on Binance Live right now. That's my number one priority. So we have different platforms here. But guys, thank you so much, Hindi, for being here. And I hope to see you in the next stage. Thank you so much. Thank you.